Welcome to Michael Skitson Stories. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell. Share, share, share. I have another one for y'all today. My nephew is in high school and he came to me with some of the issues that are concerning him. We have a close relationship and he don't mind telling me what's going on up in them high schools. You understand what I'm saying? So he's a freshman and he was telling me that his homeboy, his friend, wants to give a girl some flowers to show that he likes her. So I'm thinking that that's pretty cool. You know, we need more gentlemen. We need more decent black men being kind and courteous to black women. So in my mind, you know, my grown up mind, I'm thinking, okay, that's cool. What's the big deal? Because he was looking all distraught. He looked disappointed. Now, looking at his facial expression when he's telling me that his friend wants to give this girl some flowers, I'm thinking like, damn, like, uh, maybe it's the, the, the youngsters trying to be too tough. You know, when the youngsters are young, they want to be tough. Who's the hardest? Don't show um, a woman any affection because that makes you weak. No, showing affection to men more than women, that makes you gay, right? So uh, that's the era where everybody's on guard when you're young. You don't want to seem too soft or have somebody walk over you and break your heart. So that's the type of tip I was on. That's the type of perspective I had. So I let him continue. So, so what's the problem? So he's like, yeah, unk, my homeboy Jeffrey, he wants to give this girl some flowers, Natasha. And I was like, okay, what's the problem? He said, she's a whole unk. She's a thought. I said, what? He's like, yeah, she's one of the biggest thoughts in the school. And this dumb fool wants to give her some flowers. And we keep trying to tell him, don't do it. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said, nephew, how do you know she's a thought? So everybody knows she slept with most of the players on the football team, on the basketball team, the math teacher, and the gym teacher. And I believe she goes both ways. I said, what? So in the back of my mind, I'm like, damn, where her mama at? Where is this child's mama? Maybe I need to talk to her. Maybe Uncle Michael needs to have an intervention with her mama because I'm trying to see where she getting this behavior from. You understand what I'm saying? But anyway, I said, well, all you can do is just tell him, give him the heads up as, as a friend of Jeffrey. Uh, your heart is in the right place, nephew, but sometimes you have to let people fall on their face. This is a part of life. No matter how much good advice, no matter how much direction you give, uh, no matter how much uh, positivity you give somebody, especially when they're close to you, family or friends, if you do your part, you are genuine and you had their best interest, you get to let them make their mistakes, fall on their face. He's like, all right, uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm a sit this one down, just fall back. I was like, you know, just still have his back, just let him fall on his face. Just be there to pick him up. So the next day come around and I guess the day was the day. I guess this is when it happened. Because uh, he planned on it. But I didn't think it was going to be so soon. So it happened. So my nephew came back with the info. And he looked even worse. Than when he looked like the first time. He brought this situation to me. He said. Unk, unk, unk. I said what? What? He did it in front of everybody. I said what? Remember I tell you about Jeffrey? Like, yeah, Jeffrey, you talking about the, yeah, the little boy trying to give uh, the little nasty girl some flowers. What's going on? He did it in front of everybody. I was like, slow down. I was like, slow down, nephew. Slow down. Take me step by step. What happened? So he was like, yeah, Unc. So, you know, we went to school and we saw Jeffrey and he was just smiling like a, <laughs> like a maniac. He was just sitting there smiling. We was at the basketball courts and uh, we played a little bit. But he, uh, he he stayed on the sideline because he said he didn't want to get sweaty. Today was his big day. And everybody was looking at him, Unc, like, what the hell are you talking about? Today is your big day. He said, today is my big day. And so we were playing basketball. So uh, everybody was clowning him, Unc. You're like, have you lost your mind? She's a, she's a thought, bro. She's been sucked on everybody. Like, they're going to be talking about you. And he was like, those are just rumors. And he was holding on to these flowers like, Unc, he pulled these flowers from under his Letterman jacket. 
Now the flowers were beat up for one and he picked them. I don't know where he got these flowers from. They had bugs all over them. It had a big ass ladybug on it. Unk. I said, watch him out, boy. He was like, sorry, um, he had a big old ladybug. And it had like three spiders all over the all over the uh flowers and the caterpillar. And everybody was looking like, you gonna give her those? They were like, we know she a thought, but damn, can you at least give her some fresh flowers? And he's like, this is all I can afford. And it was like, um, the way he was just acting, it was just weird. Like he was just so focused on showing this girl how much he likes her. So I had to ask, I said, I said, so Jeffrey, why do you like this girl? Um, can you listen to me good? This is his excuse of why he's giving this girl his flowers. So he was like, we're walking in the hallway. I said, we're walking in the hallway. This is Jeffrey talking. We're walking in the hallway and uh, she bumped into me. And I looked at her and she looked at me. And that's how I knew she was the one. And I said, I cannot believe. So did she say that she liked you? Did she said she were handsome. He said, no. Did she at least say you smell good? Jeffrey said, no. Uh, I'm Wait, so you just doing all this just because she bumped into you? And so Jeffrey said, well, why did she bump into me? It was only two of us in the hallway. And my nephew was like, well, I don't know why she bumped into you. But that's not a reason to give a girl flowers publicly. It, it looks weak. It looks lame, bro. Don't do it. He said, I'm following my heart. So the, he did it at lunchtime. So we were all going to lunch. And I wanted to put my, <laughs> my nephew said, I wanted to put my head down. Up. I, I wish I can just pinch myself and disappear. I had so much anxiety because I knew these niggas was going to clown us. I was like, I'm dealing with Elaine. Jeffrey, he's cool, but I just never seen Jeffrey deal with women before. Unk. Like, we play games, we play football. You know, we do normal stuff. But I feel like I'm getting smarter than Jeffrey. <laughs> I feel like I'm advancing. I don't know what it is. It's just like I never seen the side of him in this. Oh, he's just making the gang look bad. So it, it was lunchtime. And... Jeffrey was super nervous, right? Cause he's about, to, <laughs> cause he's about to embarrass himself. He was super nervous, and he's about to embarrass himself. He can feel his own self about to embarrass himself. So he picked these flowers. It's lunchtime, and he spots Natasha. Now here's the thing, Unc. So I'm in the cut. Remember how you said let people fall on their face? I said, yeah, nephew, let them niggas fall on their face. I was like, yeah, so so I I stood back, Unc. I, I stood back, and I let him just do him so i'm in the cut with the rest of the guys and she's actually talking to another guy she's already talking to a guy i don't know if they're together i'm pretty sure we heard about it but she's already in another guy's face and he begins to walk towards her at least we thought so i thought he was just gonna give her the flowers and she was gonna probably like clown him slap him Something like that. Throw the flowers to the side and keep it put, keep it pushing. And I was gonna be there to pick him up, like you said, Unc. But no, this nigga took it to the max. I said, "What the nigga do, Uncle?" I'm sorry. I said, "But this nigga took it to the max." So I said, "What the nigga do, nephew? What did the nigga do?" He said, "The nigga got up on the table." He stood up on the table and everybody was looking around like, what's going on? I said, oh, me and the gang, unk, me and the gang. We had our books and we put our textbooks next to our chin. So as soon as he embarrassed himself, we can put our books over our face because we didn't want to be seen. And then we're going to walk out. That was the plan. As soon as this nigga embarrassed himself. We're going to put the books over our face and then walk out the cafeteria. So he stands up on the table and he says in front of everybody, he said, hey, hey, I got something to say. And that's when we, we began to slowly put the books over our mouths. There's a woman that I like. There's a woman that I adore. And everybody's looking like, what the hell is going on? Natasha, when he said Nat Natasha looked and he said, um, you can see how uncomfortable she was. I think she wanted to disappear more than us. 
said, Natasha, I loved you since day one. <laughs> You're so beautiful. The day that you bumped into me in the hallway. Oh, oh, oh. And when I looked into those beautiful hazel eyes, I knew you were the one. Natasha looked around and having all those eyeballs on her <laughs> and having this, he's my boy, but having this creepy ass nigga profess his love with these flowers with the big ass ladybug and the three spiders and the caterpillar all over it. She looked so, she, she was looking for an exit. Um, she was looking for an exit. But let me continue. He's, this was Jeffrey say, um, Natasha, I love you. And that's when me and the rest of the gang put the books over our face. I love you, Natasha. I don't care how many guys you slept with. Now Natasha got mad. She first she was embarrassed. Now she mad. I don't care how many guys you slept with. I don't care if you slept with the whole football team. I don't care if you slept with the whole basketball team. The flag football team. I don't care if you slept with math teacher Johnson and the gym teacher Williamson. I don't care how many guys sleep with you. I don't care about the rumors, if it's true or not. You are very special to me. Very special. And I don't care how many girls you sleep with either. So the teachers in the cafeteria lady, they poked their head from the back. They said, what the, what? <coughs> what the hell going on? Talking about the girl bisexual, she's sleeping with these grown men. She's sleeping with the football team, and I think one of them, one of them uh, cafeteria ladies called the police. Um, because we seen the police patrolling. They're walking towards the cafeteria. I don't care how many teachers and uh, you just slept with, and I don't care what your sexual preference is. And every, everybody started laughing. <laughs> The kids started laughing. Uh, everybody was geeked up. Everybody was looking around because they were looking for me. They was looking for me. Uh, and I, and I was, <laughs> I was I, at that point. I started walking out. So as I was walking out, I hear them. I I picked these for you. Them nasty flowers, Unc. Uh, and he walked towards her. As he was walking towards her. The police snatched up Natasha. So I was like, what? The police? Wait, wait. So your friend was about to give her the nasty flowers. And with the, the big ass ladybugs, the three spiders and the caterpillar. And the police interrupted and got Natasha. Why? So at the end of the day, rumor got back that they're launching an investigation with Natasha, with Natasha and the teacher she'd been sleeping with. I said, what kind of school are you going to? I need to talk to my sister. She said, no, no, no. Uh, but hear me out, though. That's not the worst part. So they launched an investigation. This is at lunchtime. The police came, got Natasha. They told Jeffrey to get his ass off the uh, cafeteria table because it's nasty, unsanitary. They have, you know, them black women don't play. They have the Lysol, Bleach, Ajax, and Fabuloso. And everybody continued to eat. It was so much commotion. And they brought Jeffrey in there too. Because you know he's the one that put it on Front Street. So we didn't see Jeffrey and Natasha the rest of the day. Tell me why. Uh, we seen the two teachers. That Jeffrey was talking about get arrested. They got arrested. I was like man this is off the chain. So. This is the next day. So I talked to my nephew again. My nephew came back to me with some more gossip. He said, Unc, I got some more for you. So what are you talking about? He said, remember yesterday, that whole situation with Jeffrey trying to get them nasty flowers to Natasha in front of everybody. And the police came and launched an investigation because he said she was sleeping with all those grown men, those teachers, those two teachers. Remember I told you they got arrested, right? So tell me why after all of this, Unc, after all of this, tell me why Jeffrey and Natasha are dating. I said, what? He said, yeah. He said, Jeffrey and Natasha are dating now. Can we pull up to the school? Everybody's like, where's Jeffrey at? You know? And nobody seen Jeffrey. Nobody seen Natasha. They were behind the gym. They were behind the gym having a conversation. They were giggling and holding hands. 
I said, what? He said, yeah, this is in the morning. So I was so confused. I thought Natasha was going to hate him. He embarrassed her. He had the cops come through because she busted open for the teachers. Parents getting involved. I was like, what the heck is going on? So I said, so what happened? Did you, you still cool with Jeffrey? He said, yeah, I'm still cool with Jeffrey, but I had him all wrong. I don't know what to think because I had to see what was going on. So I asked him, so you... He was like, you and Natasha, y'all talking now? He was like, he was like, yep, I follow my heart. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. After all that happened yesterday, she likes you? Like, what's going on? She said, yeah, she likes me because I'm a hero. And she said something about I have the best looking cape she's ever seen in her life. And I don't judge her. And she let I let her be herself. And that's what she loves the most about me. I don't judge her. I said, what? So I'm like, you don't, you don't care that she slept with all these people? Even if it's teachers and these grown teachers and all this? He's like, nope, that's babes. That's babes? My uncle, my nephew was freaking out. My nephew was like, she like, said, no. This is the woman that you care about? If she can walk all over you and cheat on you, it's like, don't you even care that she might cheat on you? Jeffrey said, well, she may cheat on me, but she's always going to come back to me because I love her for who she is. I don't care what she do in the streets. She always knows she has a home. And what you don't understand is that women want security. So she finds security in me. I may not have the money, but morally and spiritually, I am her security. I'm her backbone. She knows that no matter how many guys she sleep with, she can always come home and I'll always love her and, and I won't and I won't judge her. So as I was talking to Jeffrey, trying to wrap my head around how this, my best friend, has fallen in love with a hoe. She walks up. Hey, guys, what y'all talking about? How y'all doing? And my nephew was like, no, we're just talking about sports. Is uh, Yeah, so I'm going to go because there's a lot going on here. But uh, I guess I wish y'all the best. My nephew could not believe what was taking place. But I had to let him know life is funny like that. Life has a lot of twists and turns. Life will show you things that you wish you hadn't seen. And keep things hidden from you that you wish you had seen. And sometimes you just have to put it in your mind that you just have to keep living. But y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about this? Youngsters. Putting on these capes. Saving these thoughts. In the name of healthy relationships. 250 capital G, Michael Skisson Stories, I'm gone.